And down at the start, Go. the heat of the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup, coxless pairs for men on the Berkshire station on the left-hand side of the screen. Troy and Baradas, and on the Buckinghamshire station on the right-hand side, Bond and Woodfine. We join the race at the halfway mark at Forley. And leading, looks like, on the, le the left-hand side there is from Vesta, Bond and Woodfine. Seems to be moved up to maybe a length. Well, this is a real interesting one as a, a race of youth against experience that um, Bond and Woodfine um, have raced between them 25 times at Henley already in their lives. They're aged 37 and 33, as opposed to Troy and Bardas, who are, uh, who are 20 and 19 uh, in their first outing here at Henley. So maybe that experience is paying off for the, uh, the senior athletes in the Vesta colours on the left of the picture. Yeah, they've been in this event a few times before. Um, Troy and Bardas from Robert Gordon University. You haven't done much racing again because of you know the way things have been. Um, they're part of the Scottish junior team, so guys with a big future ahead of themselves in the sport. And Bond and Woodfine, just I guess mixing normal life with rowing in a club. Yeah, more than mixing normal life, actually, when it's almost abnormal. It might be normal to you, actually, Adrian, funny enough, um, that reading about uh, Harry Bond, he's got five children under the age of five. So amongst the people he needs to thank, his wife Becky is certainly one of them. Yeah, she's obviously got the five kids at home running around the sofa as well as he's out here having fun with his mates. Well, That's a good row, though, isn't it? It's been worth it, the training all summer to get here. Two and a half lengths, great row here from Bond and Woodfine. Yeah, brilliant for them as we have a look here at the younger, uh, as you say, Scotland junior athletes, um, seeing those shots of the puddles disappearing into the water. But yeah, brilliant for Vesta Rowing Club as well. Celebrated the 150th year in 2020. Um, didn't get to race here at Henley, but they brought a strong team, the strongest team they can, as we have a look at them. And I think Vesta is always just such a, a nice, friendly club on the Putney stretch in London. Yeah, it was such a shame they never really got to celebrate Henley in 150 at the same time. But the athletes seem to have kept the momentum of training. And looking here, these guys are rowing well on this pair. They're doing a really good job. There's a really obvious acceleration with their body and generates really good handle speed. Good rowing. Like you say, really good acceleration just through the middle of the, the, the straight. They've got strong bodies, they get connected and then, and then keep it moving through. And here are the two youngsters, the first time out at Henley Royal Regatta. I remember the first time I raced here. It's just like a different planet, isn't it? Well, it is, it is. Having the, uh, the, the booms either side of you make it difficult. Having this properly watered, you can see how difficult that water actually is. Um, the vestica in front making it look pretty easy. You can just see the, the, the smaller, younger men just bouncing around a little bit more, not quite cutting through it in the same way. Yeah, you kind of look at the distance and it looks absolutely fabulous, doesn't it? But if you actually look at the hulls, they're pretty lively with all the stuff that's bouncing around them. It is pretty lively and it'll be more lively this time tomorrow night on the Saturday night in Henley, uh, when uh, the boats will be on the move. Uh, uh, even more fun will be being had. As, look at this wake coming across the, the course. I don't like the look of that. No, it's not going to be fun when that comes. They don't even know it's coming, do they? It's just going to hit them. <laughs> there we go. There it Splash. Is, yeah. oh, they've dealt with it well there. With Bond and Woodfine. And straight away, just back onto the rhythm. Didn't let it disturb what they were doing. That shows the composure and the experience, doesn't it? It does. And their boat really is quite, quite deep in the water, but you can see how it just surges through. You can even see the sort of cutaway around the top of that that hole that just stops the water splashing in into the boat. And I guess for them, that they're normally rowing on the tideway uh, from Putney, they're going to be used to very bumpy conditions. So for them, this is a this is a walk in the park to be a Henley course with a few washes. And I guess the tideway for, for people who aren't rowing is is the tidal part of the river Thames, and because the stream, the river comes in and out all day, every day, the, the conditions are so much more variable, and you get much more extreme conditions where. Here, on the, for example, this is the upper reach of the Thames, which is not tidal. You don't get the same stream changes. And here we go, Robert Gordon University, the two boys, Troy and Bardas, still attacking it there, really making a good effort of this. They're really giving it a go, aren't they? 
um, making sure they don't want to leave anything in the boat. They want to put it all out there um, and make sure they've left everything out on the race course um, coming into the last throws of the race. Last 10 strokes or so now. Little look over the shoulder there from uh, Chris Pardis in the stroke seat. But they're just struggling there with the conditions and hopefully going to just keep it together coming down to the line. Yeah, when you're exhausted like that and you're under a bit of pressure and you're tired, yeah, it's really hard. We've seen that a bit a few times today. And here, coming along, comfortably there, crossing the line from Vesta Rowing Club, Bond and Woodfine winning this heat of the Goblets, Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup against Troy and Bardas from Robert Gordon University. And a good effort from both teams.